Hey YouTube family, Mike Jones here, back with another video on my channel where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the genuine hope that I will be able to inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey today. With that said, today we're going to be talking about my Weeble portfolio, um, but if you would take a short moment to just go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe, um, that would be really awesome. I also wanted to give a short little shout out to Gen X Dividend Investor, which you'll be able to see right around here. Um, is a guy that has subscribed to my channel. Um, he makes absolutely great investing content. So if you're looking for more insight on investing and stuff like that, I would definitely tell you to go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Every video that I've ever seen on his channel is pure gold. So I just wanted to give him a small shout out as he subscribed to my channel today. Um, he really gives me inspiration. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into my Weeble portfolio. So I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording so we can get right into it. Alrighty, as you can see, we're at $16,783.13 today. Now, it is a Saturday, and I'm doing this on a day when the market isn't open, um, but our real market value is $17,744.25, and that's because of the $961 plus dollars that we spent on um, Friday or Thursday and um, spent you know, towards making our portfolio a little bit more diversified and uh, buying more positions that we truly believed in so let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly i went ahead and bought but before we do that actually we're going to go ahead and give a huge shout out to whoever decided to use my referral link um, because i did see that i have some free stocks so we're going to go ahead and open up those free stocks and let's see we have four different free stocks right now so let's go ahead and see what we got hopefully it's something good i would love to get something on camera where you know it's like microsoft or apple I've never been able to do that, but usually the free stocks that I get are pretty decent. So let's see, we have AM, which I don't I have no idea what that is. AM again, AM again, and it's probably gonna be AM again. Yeah, so we have four shares of AM. I'm not really sure what that is, so I'll be doing a little bit of research to figure out what exactly uh, ticker symbol AM is. But with that said, thank you so much for using my uh, referral. Um, that really goes a long way to supporting the channel and stuff. So with that said, shout out to whoever that was. Um, if you want to go ahead and, you know, start your own brokerage with Weeble, you can go ahead and do that. I have, I'll have a link down below where you can get up to two free stocks um, that are valued up to $1,600 when you deposit $100 after signing up. So with that said, back to the portfolio. As you can see, we bought one share of White Horse Financial. Um, because that's what we had left over and it's already up 17 cents for a 1% return. So that's really cool uh, We bought you know, we have two shares of IBM that we bought last week um, Which are up two dollars and forty eight cents um, for an almost 1% return. So that's really cool uh, We did buy five more shares of Hylion and we bu we bought those shares at an average price of eight dollars and seventy seven cents um, so it's great to see that you know Hylion's starting to gain a little bit of traction again. But I think it's gonna stay at this value for a little bit longer. Um, it might be to the end of the year due to, you know, EV, the EV sector is just starting to get going. But I think the more things that President Biden decides to pass uh, that are, you know, EV centric, um, we'll start to see stocks, you know, rise again. So this is a great opportunity to buy at a discount if you haven't already. Um, but with that said, let's move on. We have Airbnb, which is almost at the IPO price that we got it at. So I'm looking to see if that actually um, declines a little bit more. If it goes under the IPO price, I think I'll be buying more shares of Airbnb because it is uh, a growth stock that I could see great potential in. Um, but next up, we have you know Rocket Companies. And the last time we talked about this company, we had 17 shares already. But we bought another 33 shares on uh, May 6th at an average price of $19.34. Now, I probably should have waited an extra day because we could have got those shares at $18.08. .08. But that's just, you know, you can't predict the market. And anybody that tells you that you can um, is not being truthful with you. So next up, we have Coca-Cola. And I bought these shares on April 29th. Uh, we bought four extra shares, an average price of $54.19. And so we're up to $2.95 profit, which is a 1% gain. Um, you know about AbbVie already. 
uh, Main Street Capital, we have those three shares and we've gained $34 and one cent for a 37% return. Workhorse Group, I believe, yeah, on April 29th, we went ahead and bought six shares of Workhorse Group at an average price of $12.56. And so our average price is now down to $16.19, but the price is still lower than you know what we bought it at so we might have another opportunity to buy some more shares of workers group probably get about 10 or 20 more shares of that um since it's at such a low price because we truly believe that workers group it, it has a bright future just like hylion so um we're gonna see what happens with that like i said with the ev sector um once some news passes with biden you know approving more things to uh help the environment I think that these stocks will start to shoot back up again, but I'm sure a lot of people are selling and that's why the stocks are declining. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Telus Communications, which I believe we bought on May 6th as well. As you can see, we bought four shares at an average price of $21.42. Now, you know, you would think here that like I wouldn't want to buy because it's not at a discount, but um, that's another thing you have to train yourself to do as an investor. Even when a stock is rising, you want to continue to buy. Um, you want to buy regardless of what's going on. So if you can train yourself to buy whenever, you know, whatever is happening, that would be a great thing to do because you'll get that dollar cost average and it really averages out the whole thing. So when it's at a discount, you're able to buy lower and decrease that average. When it's um, not at a discount, but you think it's still a great buy, it, you buy the shares don't be uh don't be so passive it's okay to go ahead and buy shares um even when the stock is increasing um next up you know we have uh shock communications i believe we already had these shares yeah we already had these shares since october um but we're up 58 dollars and 48 cents for a 65 and a half percent return we also have walgreens those 10 shares that we bought way back um up $158.37. Walgreens to me is still a buy. So if you haven't gotten in on Walgreens, I would definitely consider doing so. Um, Apple is back up to $130.49. So we've gained $91.02 on that position. Um, but we definitely still believe in Apple. Um, I actually believe that it's $90 undervalued. Um, but I can get into that in a different video. Um, so, so you see here that we have a whole bunch of shares that are just one uh, share. So I won't go into that in too much depth. But next up, we have uh, BP, which we have five shares. And in the time that we've had this, you know, these five shares, it's gained $49.96. Now, we would have loved to have gotten this to 10 or 20 shares. But, you know, other opportunities came up. And so we spent the money there. But we're still considering going ahead and buying more shares of BP as well. Next up, we have Tesla. As you can see, this is um, my you know greatest performing stock by uh, money value, and so it's at six hundred sixty nine dollars and thirty five cents, which is nearly a hundred dollars less than it was a month ago. But we're still up twenty six hundred and seventy nine dollars and fifty three cents for a two hundred percent return. So there's really no complaining to be had here. Um, this isn't a great opportunity to buy Tesla if you believe that the value is over seven hundred. Um, I personally like to buy Tesla when it's around the 300, 400 range. Um, and that's why I haven't bought more shares, including, you know, everything else that's been going on with my life. Um, so next up, we have Aflac. We have two shares here, um, which have gained $38.34 for a 52% return. Um, we also have One Oak, uh, which we have 10 shares of that at an average price of $42.65. And on April 29th, we went ahead and pulled the trigger again and we were able to buy uh, five shares at an average price of $52.98. Now I've seen this uh, company as high as $76 a share. So that's why I continue to buy this company because I believe that it's still at a discount. I would love to get 15 more shares in this portfolio. Um, that would go a long way with me. Um, so, um, next up we have Clorox, which is a company I've continued to buy steadily here. As you can see, I bought a share on April 29th for $186.51. And then I was able to buy another share on May 6th for $184.46. So 
So our average price right now is $191.59 and the company's still down $27 overall for our position, which is absolutely phenomenal because as you can see on you know May 28th of last year, we were able to get in on Clorox at uh, $203.81. So if we can go ahead and continue to buy this company while it's at a discount, I think that we'll see um, awesome gains in the near future. It also provides us with an awesome dividend. But moving on, we also have Kimberly and Clark, which we went ahead and pulled the trigger on to buy um, a share at $132.61, which um, we got on April 29th. And as you can see, it's only down to 66 now, which means that you know that was a that was like the perfect time to buy Kimberly and Clark because now our average is one hundred and thirty six dollars and eighty three cents, and it's almost back up to its uh, original price or our, our average price now. So that's great to see. Um, we did go ahead and pull the trigger on DraftKings. As you can see, we bought uh, three shares at an average cost of fifty seven dollars and thirty cents. Now this isn't a company that's really declined too much. And so the uh, the average price right now is forty seven dollars and sixty three cents for us. That's why we're up three dollars and fifty seven cents. But the last price is forty eight dollars, and it hasn't been sub fifty for about I would say five months. So to see it down um, is actually a, a nice thing to see because we do want to go ahead and buy more shares of this company. Um, realistically, we'd like to get six more shares um, so we can have a solid ten shares in the portfolio. And we know in the long run that, you know, when uh, betting is more of a thing that people do online, uh, this is going to be huge. So um, we'll continue to buy more shares as we go along. Next up, we have Halliburton, which is a company I'm uh, considering getting rid of. Um, but we're up $24.70 for 116% uh, return. Um, next up, we have Viacom CBS, which we got fr uh, free for... You know the two shares that we have um and it's up 53 dollars and 14 cents snapchat is another free share uh company that we we're able to get and so we're up 231 dollars and 30 cents this is what i mean when i say that the free shares uh that you get on weeble actually usually perform pretty well and so that's been the case for me so far um but we also have you know ticker symbol love which is uh southwest we have 15 shares at that uh, price of forty one dollars and eleven cents, um, so we're up sixty one dollars, which is about three hundred and nine dollars and eighteen cents uh, return to us, which is a fifty percent return. Now there was an opportunity to get in on Southwest at twenty six dollars a share um, earlier last year, and we did not take advantage of that. We only bought one share in our other portfolio, so we do really uh, we did really miss out on that, especially since this is a company that we believe in. We should have went ahead and been bold and bought 35 shares at that $26 price in this Weeble portfolio, and we'd be seeing a lot more in gains. But the next time these airline stocks decline, know that I will be getting in on practically all of them um, and swinging that, um, you know, for future gains. But uh, next up, we have $20 or 20 shares of Bank of Nova Scotia um, at $65.44. Um, gained or that's where the share price is right now so we are up three hundred and ninety seven dollars and fifty six cents for a forty three percent return so that's absolutely phenomenal with that said that brings our total you know profit um unrealized right now at fifty nine hundred forty five dollars and twenty six cents which is still a fifty percent return even though we added almost a thousand dollars to the portfolio so with that said if you would take a moment to just go ahead and smash that like button Hit the subscribe. That would really go a long way to help us out. We're currently at 355 subscribers. We need 145 more um, by the time summer hits. So if you could help us out there, that would be really awesome. About 80% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed. So just getting about half of those people to subscribe would go a long way for my channel. With that said, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you and God bless.